Apologies. Greetings from Preeti Kidney Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today, here is a case of horseshoe kidney right side moiety renal stone. Whenever we do a renal stone, in present days we are not doing IVP. Ideally, these type of mal rotated abnormal kidneys, IVP gives a lot of information. Anyway, we have done CT scan plane. I will tell few points in the CT scan how to do interpretation. With the right moiety, we will focus on the right moiety. Right upper pole, right upper pole, right upper pole dilatation, right upper pole dilatation, right upper pole dilatation. That means right upper pole is dilated system. Right upper pole dilatation disappears, then one more calyx will start, probably upper calyx uh, uh, lower and uh, part or middle calyx. Then you have a small stone posterior in the middle calyx. Then dilated pelvis is present. Then dilated pelvis and anterior posterior calyx have come. Now when you see it is an anteriorly mal rotated kidney, there is a large stone in the pelvis without any gap. So ureter catheter may go or may not go. After this pelvic stone, you have one isthmic stone, one lower calyxian stone which is continuing. If you see on the CM3, you show on this side one stone which is present in the, uh, the that stone lateral, that one. Next is pelvic stone. Next is below two stones. Next is the uh, medial stone, isthmic stone. Now the guide wire has gone, ureter catheter has gone. Now slowly we have to inject the contrast. Second important point in our shoe kidney is depth of the patient. Normally, we have to, uh, one more important point here is prone PCNL or supine PCNL. Dr. Soundarya, now we have decided here prone PCNL because in prone PCNL, uh, the anteriorly directed uh, uh, kidney puncturing is easy because the entire kidney is on the back. There are no vessels. Yes. The entire back of the kidney, that is broadal surface, is in the back of the kidney. Uh, so back. Whereas in supine PCNL, if it is calyx is lateral, lateral it is rear calyx is Okay. Posterior. posterior. So, posterior calyx is supine PCNL is not good. So, for teaching purpose, today we have taken the, otherwise we can do it, we have done it. That's a different issue. Now, when you when you start puncturing, you are, always remember that, horseshoe kidney, the kidney will be lower down. You will not worry about the supracostal. Always better to go into upper calyx. Why? Upper calyx is more posterior. Upper calyx is more posterior. More posterior. Even mal rotation, apart from mal rotation, upper pole is more posterior. And the lower pole which is isthmic region is more anterior because it goes over the uh, uh, vertebral column. Vertebra are always anterior whereas kidneys are situated paravertebral region. Based on this point, if the patient is thin, it is very good case for the prone PCNL. Now we have ultrasound BK here, Dr. Soundarya is expert. She will show, but majority of the people like to do without ultrasound. But we will have one minute ultrasound. We will not be based on that. What ultrasound tells Soundarya extra than CM? Uh, we, we can uh, decide the entry point. Entry point. First the, of all, visera free uh, visera place free we can interface. see. Yeah, we will show here. You show here. And in uh, see, uh, same thing. One upper calyx is present so here. One rib is present. Calyx. Then middle calyx. I told infant diploma will be communicating. And then lower pole. Then the pelvic pelvic stone. This is the stone this in the, the pelvis. This is the posterior middle calyx stone. Uh, this is the posterior middle calyx, which I don't want to puncture. I want to puncture the upper calyx. This is the upper calyx. Yes, no, no, that no, is. No, that is not the upper calyx. This is the upper calyx. So that yes. upper calyx area, where it is, if you wanted to see, it will be more. Uh, th this is the area. This, this, this is the window, uh, the liver free window. This you have to puncture. See this line. It is coming way below the twelfth rib. You see here, top light sun. Where somewhere this point, uh, there is nothing. That's all ultrasound you can use. You need not puncture also. Now we can inject in the, in the contrast. Now you keep the finger needle, please. You keep the finger and uh, need uh, inject contrast. Inject slow, show there. Uh, inject CM. See here I mark. Yes, sir. Here I mark. I will go like yeah. this. CM. See exactly it is coming that region. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you, you can uh, see, the see. see ah CM CM. Ah right. That calyx is not communicating that much. Uh, actually, Soundar is saying that the lower calyxial stones, uh, three stones, have moved from the uh, freely moving from the uh, calyx. lower calyx to isthmus. So if we uh, hit this stone and go. I will get because it's most posterior. Yeah, Let us see. It's it's yeah. So now blade. So I will keep here. This is the area. Usually 12th rib is a good landmark. Should I aim the uh, stone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Stone aim. Stone aim is easy. What do you do in prone PCNL? See, most important is don't hold the needle. Just you keep it. See, it is already, already. Superficial. Okay, superficial. It is on the just backside. So vertically, I am going to the. 
Can you see the movement? This is called. Bullseye. Uh, this is called. Uh, no bullseye. This is called monoplane arm. Judgmental. Okay. See, almost like a vertical direction. I am going. Ah, uh, my my idea is that I wanted to go to the upper calyx. Now, can you can you go to the thirty uh, degree? Uh, come CM inside. Local. CM local. Thirty thirty. CM, come inside. If you if you don't want to go, you can go a little above. You got the point. You will get a. You are not getting exactly it is going blade. I will go little yeah. backside. You got the point, sir. What I am saying. But my upper calyx, if I go, I may not reach this stone. What do you say? Okay. See here, I am getting the space too. Okay. Here I wanted to feel the. Yeah, now we, I got the contrast. It is really posterior. Can you see the movement? Yes. Yeah. Here I wanted to stay. See, even though it is posterior, I am vertical. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Go back. Here I wanted to stop. In bullseye also can be done. This is almost bullseye. Yeah. What do you say? Ultrasound that calyx was nicely. Which calyx? No, ultrasound Stone guided. Stone containing calyx. No, ultrasound guided. I don't want it to do. Ultrasound guided. I don't want to do. See, now the stone. I am moving it yeah. clearly. You got the point. Yes. That is very important. Now I wanted to pass the guide wire with a little adjustment because this vertical puncture. I clearly moved the stone. See, this is a bullseye almost type of stone. See, it has gone. You got the point. Yes. Uh, now I, I I have moved the stone. See, I have moved the stone. I will go vertically down. So this is a no triangular actually cut. Monopolar because because the posterior. Because I want to go through the calyx, because it is superficial, I have to go vertically down. Because rest of the kidney is anterior directed, I can go vertically down and see other places. Yes. You got the point? Yes. See that small curve is not a good. Curve. You got the point? Yeah. Small curve you show. Small curve initial dilatation is must. You, you understood how I did? This is a combination of uh, monoplanar, biplanar, stone guided. Vertical track. All you should manu. You should read the CT carefully. Otherwise, the upper calyx I might have punctured. Yeah. But so under from beginning only. See, this it should be. It, it should be vertically dilated like this. You got the point. Yes. After vertical dilatation, slowly. See, before entering, you will have resistance. Okay. Slowly, you will go into the system. This this dilatation you should not do. The moment you take uh, the ampulla sheath, what juniors does mistake is. What juniors does mistake is they do like this. You have gone like this. Yeah, you will do like this. Exactly. Then you can never uh, go into that. Okay. It was a vertical on to head of the Calyx. stones. Calyx. See, like this it was. Yes. You are direction only See, like that only because it will not be seen much uh, uh, in uh, lateral medial direction. It will be only bullseye direction. It will not be seen medial lateral. You agree, Sundari? Yes, sir. So guide wire kinking should not happen in this case. Rod, rod up there. Yeah. Now if the rod goes into the system, you need not worry. You can come back and see that stone. By the time you dilate, that stone will come into the. That stone will come into the pelvis because it is you are constantly pushing it. Yes. Where will it go? See, this is important. See, vertical. See, this will this will touch. See, if it is not vertical, it is uh, not going to go easily. See, it, it's not going to go. It should be vertical. Okay. Yeah, we have to come back and see whether the 
whether it is going properly by this time what happens vertical if you keep vertical only it is going if you keep vertical like this only it is going you got the point the when you do horizontal it will not go why go so initial puncture direction you have to memorize in your brain and now it is no problem little bit of uh, this thing yeah oh 18 now you go inside and always uh, the deep it will be to reach the pelvis this luckily this patient is very thin patient pediatric uh, uh, pediatric patient this is 13 years old years only you got the point now this is the dilatation continuously waha dikhane ki you have to keep uh, uh, the direction uh, saline has to be passed now maximum why saline see after four dilator the saline should come here when she is pressing the saline is coming here like sweat it comes like sweating huh <coughs> yeah i will take it out last dilatation i always do little yeah no problem the lot of space will be there because it's a dilated system i understand ready somebody nephroscope ready. water ready. white balancing everything should be ready and clean and uh, focus also soundarya please saline please yes, sir now this is the time maximum saline should be kept okay better always go beyond because if you miss the track it is dangerous now guide wire should not come out in these cases water. going inside Uh, yeah. See now, whatever uh, the infant blood show there. Uh, I wanted to show the stone. No? You always superficial means see at the roof, 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 roof. Slowly you move. See this is the stone. Yes, Can you get it? Yes, sir. I told that uh, luckily it is uh, uh, now it is gone into pelvis. Yes. So this is the end. This is the this thing is the vertical track. See, see this is the most periphery I have punctured. Now we will finish. So there, I will do the uh, laser or lithotripter, whatever it may be. And to conclude, reading the CT is very important. Here, so there, I suggested the middle calyx. I I thought upper calyx is also okay, but after injecting the contrast, I thought that stone guided puncture directly a uh, bull side type of puncture because it is most posterior, thin patient, uh, uh, pediatric child. You should do absolutely no bleeding. Skin bleeding you need not worry. Then you slowly now uh, all the things can be seen now because it is relatively dilated and you are coming from uh, most posterior and then looking down. This is very important. That's why you have seen CT in a very big. Uh, each uh, picture should be drawn in a big way. So that is the way you should puncture the arch cavity. Prone piece here. Thank you. more easily come in supine because it is gravity so in recurrent picture you will have bxo last histoscopic dilatation 28 5 so here so it's here dilated because it is smooth surface now that yes ma'am come to the football something was in there
decía?